Hey guys, in this video, I'll be reviewing every Ahi Pokey flavor from the number one best reviewed Pokey place in Las Vegas called the Pokey Express. After searching Pokey in Las Vegas on Yelp, this spot comes up ranked number one under highest rating and number one under most recommended with a perfect five star Yelp review. So as someone who's originally from Hawaii that loves pokey and knows good pokey, I'm here to try out every single ahi pokey this best reviewed pokey business has in Las Vegas. And I'll share my review with you and rank each flavor pokey as well. And you can also buy pokey bowls here as well, your choice of pokey with rice. So here's all the ahi pokey I got. Hawaiian style pokey, shoyu ahi pokey, furukaki ahi pokey, ahi limu pokey, sweet chili ahi pokey, Garlic Ahi Pokey Wasabi Ahi Pokey Pauhana Special Ahi Pokey Spicy Ahi Combo with Crab Avocado Cucumbers Spicy Ahi Masago and Mayo And the Spicy Avocado Pokey all right, so I'm back from Pokey Express and we're gonna test out all their Ahi Pokies. So I've got them all laid out here. Never tried these flavors. We're gonna review the best rated Pokey place in Las Vegas. Try all their Pokies. I got a quarter pound of each. They came out to around $4 each. It was $14.95 a pound. And I got a quarter pound of each, so they ranged around $4 a container. And I got 11 different pokey flavors here. I'm gonna try these out. So, got my chopstick. Let's dig in and rate these. Let's give all these a try, okay? So, here we start out with the Ahi Pokey Hawaiian style. So here's how it looks. Let's give this a try. I told the lady to put the sauce on all of it. She asked me if I wanted the sauce on the side, but I just told her to put the sauce on the pokey. Smells good. Mmm. Very fresh tasting ahi. Okay. This one's a little more on the plainer side. It's a little spice, just a very tiny spice of kick. It doesn't have much seasoning on it, you see? Okay. Yeah, this one's not bad. If you don't like much seasoning on this, this one's okay. For a rating, I would give this, uh, I will give this a seven for my taste buds. Okay, so that's Hawaiian style pokey. Let's try the garlic ahi pokey. See some garlic, see some sauce on the bottom as well. See the sauce? Mmm, smells like garlic shoyu. So let's give this one a try. Garlic ahi, get some sauce on there. Okay. Again, it's a little bit on the plain side. The garlic is not like as noticeable. Looks like there's some onion, green onions, and sesame seed as well. It's a very mild garlic tasting. 
you hardly taste the garlic. Okay, it's not bad. It doesn't have a lot of pop of flavor to it. It's very mild on the plain side. So for me, it, um, I'll give it a seven as well. Same rating as the Hawaiian style. So that's the garlic ahi. Let's try ahi limu. Ahi limu, limu is a seaweed. See that dark brown seaweedy? You can see. Yep, that's the little seaweed. Let's try this out. This one looks plain. It looks like it just has limu on it and a few green onions. Let's see what this tastes like. Okay, again, it's a little plain. It just doesn't have sauce or much sauce on it. But the pokey, the ahi, so far are all fresh tasting. Yeah, I can definitely taste the limu, but it's not strong. It's very mild tasting. But it's good. I like it. Okay. I would give this uh, a 7.8. It's better. I like it. All right. So let's go to the next. Furukaki ahi. This is how it looks. Furukaki ahi. Got some sauce in there in the bottom. Okay. It's not too much furukaki on it. There's some kind of oily sauce. Mmm. Okay. When I tasted it, it didn't like pop out as furukaki, but there's a interesting good taste to it. Some kind of sweet taste to it as well. Yeah, this one's good. Has some flavor to it. You can tell a little bit it's a full cocky tasting pokey. Yeah, I give this one an 8. 8 out of a 10. It's pretty good. Okay, let's try wasabi pokey. Wasabi is a hot sauce. Green hot sauce. There you go. Wasabi ahi pokey. This is sauce on the bottom. Just grab some of that sauce, see how hot it is. Mmm. Yep, you taste the wasabi. Mmm. Okay, the spice is coming in. It's getting spicy. But that wasn't too spicy. You can definitely tell there's like a hot mustard wasabi type of taste. Yeah, definitely more flavor come out of this because of the spice. Yeah, this one's good. And I love spice. So I think this one's good for me. Yeah, I love this one. If not spicy, spicy where I need a drink. You can just taste that flavor of the wasabi, but it's definitely spicy. A hint of spice maybe. It just tastes like wasabi. Yeah, this one's good. I give this one a 9 out of a 10. Wasabi ahi pokey. 9 out of a 10. Alright, so let's go to shoyu pokey. Here is how it looks. With the shoyu. Towards the bottom.
At first bite, it didn't taste very much like shoyu. Let me try again. Yeah, it doesn't taste too much like shoyu. It's more like a watered down shoyu. If you look at the sauce, it's a little watered down looking, right? It's not like a heavy dark brown shoyu color. Maybe that's why. It's like a watered down. It's very light. It's kind of like medium to light brown. So it doesn't taste very much like shoyu to me. It doesn't taste like shoyu. Yeah, I was expecting it to taste more like regular shoyu, but it tastes watered down. See how watered down it looks? I'll give this average. I wasn't expecting it to taste like this. I was expecting it to taste more, really more like shoyu. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like shoyu. I'll give this average five. It could have been better if it tasted more like shoyu. Okay, we got next sweet chili ahi poke. That sweet chili ahi pokey. It's got some cucumber, some red seasoning, which I'm pretty sure is the sweet chili. Okay, let's give this a try. There's no sauce. Ooh, heat is starting to kick in. There's no sauce, so it's a little dry. It's not as saucy as all the others. It's just pokey with the seasoning. Spice starts to kick in a little later after you eat it. Yeah, this might be the spiciest one so far that I've tasted. But to me, I don't taste the sweetness. And it's a little dry for me. I like it with a little more sauce or more flavor it's just pokey with the dry seasoning on it so not too much of a fan not too much of a fan of this flavor i'll give this a i'll give this a four out of the ten probably my least favorite so far all right so Next, we'll go to spicy avocado pokey. Spicy avocado pokey looks like that. Spicy sauce per on the bottom. See those avocados? Okay, let's try. Gotta have avocado in here with the spice. If the name is spicy avocado, all right. Avocado makes it creamy and it's an interesting flavor. It has a spice of kick as well. This one's good just by that first bite. Yeah, the mixture of the ingredients or the seasoning they put on this is really good. Perfect amount of spice. It's really not spicy. You got that creaminess with spice and a little bit of sweetness mixed in all. When you get a chunk of avocado with the pokey, it's so creamy and soft. Really, really good. I'm loving this one, yeah. I really love this one. Yeah, the seasoning, the sauce, the spice, the creaminess of the avocado. Really good, I love this. I give this a 10 out of a 10. Perfect. My type of pokey. Spicy avocado pokey. Okay, so let's get to the mayo, which is kind of creamy-ish looking. Okay, so let's go to spicy ahi, masago, and mayo. Masago is those little orange eggs, fish eggs, if you can see. 
tiny little dots of orange are those little fish eggs. Not sure what fish the eggs come from, but it's very creamy looking. Okay. Let's give this a try. This has a lot of mayo, lot, lots of mayo. It's not spicy. What did it say? It's spicy. It says spicy ahi masago and mayo. It's not very spicy. I do notice that you're biting into a lot of mayo though. But it's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's just a couple ingredients. You don't taste a lot. It's mayo, maybe with that mild spice in the eggs. Okay, I give this an 8. 8 out of a 10. It's not bad. Okay, let's go to spicy ahi. It says combo crab, avocado, and cucumbers. There's a little more seasoning. Avocado, crab, and cucumbers in here. Along with the spicy meal. There's some of the eggs in it as well. See the orange dots? Yeah, there's some eggs in it as well. It might be the same one as the last one I took, except they added crab, avocado, and cucumbers. It looks the same. And green onion. So let's give this a try. I don't really see avocado though. Well, maybe a few. Okay. Yeah, this has more flavor. I like this one than the last one. There, grab an avocado. Mmm, I tasted the crab as well. This is really good. Very creamy. Yeah, very creamy. Really good tasting. Yeah, I love all the ingredients mixed in this one. Uh, I give this one a perfect score. 10 out of a 10. This one's really good. My cup of tea. Spicy avocado combo with crab, avocado, and cucumbers. Okay, for the last one, we've got the Pauhana special ahi poke. Pauhana usually means afterwards in Hawaiian or like after work, Pauhana. Or sometimes they'll say Pauhana drinks, get a drink after work, Pauhana. So this is probably like the after work poke. That's how it looks. So there's mayo. This looks like there's imitation crab. Green onion. Spice sauce. Furukake. Looks like there's a mixture. Let's taste this. This looks good. Mmm. Wow. This one's really good. A lot of flavor in here. That crab with the mayo. Mmm. It's got a little bit of sweetness too. Wow, what did they put in here? This is a great mix. Really, really good. Very creamy. Yeah, I love this one. A lot of shredded imitation crab in here. I think this is even slightly better than the perfect score I gave on the last one. This is the best one, I think. I saved the best for last, Pauhana, right? If I give this a 10, if I give this a perfect score and I think this is better, I'm gonna give this a 10.5 out of the rating box. This is really good. Mm. Yeah, really, really good. This is my favorite. Pauhana Special Ahi Poke, 10.5 out of a 10. I'm done taste testing all the pokies and they were really, really good. Let's see, I gave a couple 10. Spicy Avocado was a 10. The Spicy Ahi Combo 
crab, avocado, and cucumbers was also a 10. And my favorite, a 10.5, is the Pawahana Special Ahi Poki. These are really, really good. I enjoyed all of these. Some of them were just below average. The Shoyu Poki was average, 5. Sweet Chili Ahi was 4. But yeah, everything else I rated above average, really liked. And then my top three, of course. So yeah, that's my rating. Definitely suggest this place. It's a very friendly customer service, small little shop. They got two locations out here in Las Vegas. You can check them out. One in Henderson, one in North Las Vegas. And I have to say, yeah, these are really good. I definitely recommend try them out. They also sell Besides Pokey by itself, if you want to grab two go Pokey bows, like you see here, they put either one choice or two choice of your Pokey and they give you rice. You can ask how much rice you want, either white rice or brown rice, and you can optionally add Furukaki on your rice. This is their Pokey bow. This was $8.82 for the two choice, two scoops of rice and furukake on it. And they charge you by the amount of pokey you want in your plate. So this was the standard size pokey for the two choice. All right, so there you go. Pokey bowls or individual pokey. And of course, they sell different sizes. This was the smallest size you could get for each container. This was one fourth of a pound, but they go up to two pounds a container. So yeah, check them out. Pokey Express in Las Vegas, the number one rated Yelp five star review Pokey place in Las Vegas. So check them out. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give you some insight on their Pokey, best Pokey in Las Vegas. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Aloha. Mm -hmm.